This is the four pivot design that I'm going to try to use for my claw. And I'm doing this as opposed to just a pinch and open claw because this design, it's hard to tell, this will be the gripper part and there'll be two of these so it'll be like this and that. This design will allow the claw to open and rise at the same time. That way when I drop the last ping pong ball on, on the stand you don't uh, have other ping pong balls be knocked off by the claw opening. So I want the claw to be able to open and rise out of the way at the same time and this design should let that happen. I'm going to make a quick cardboard mock-up right now, see how it works and compare it to my other ideas. As you can see, I have completed what is essentially the first draft of my claw for the robot. It uses the same four joint uh, system for movement and it does come up and out at the same time like I wanted, but maybe not as uh, much as I would want. And you will notice that the uh, distance, or the actual length of the claw is uh, quite a lot, and the reason for that is that my platform and my arm will have the ability to rotate and raise and lower the claw, but it won't have the ability to extend and retract the claw. So this uh, this large claw is a attempt to compensate so that I have some room for error in terms of the claw positioning. It'll be able to pick up the ball from the front and from the back. So there's about four inches of wiggle room where it still will be effective. And I've used uh, just some cardboard and PVC and two servos to uh, just test out this idea. All the joints are secured by nail the same way that I uh, that I put together the rotary walker pieces um, and that'll probably be changed later. Another idea that I have to refine this design is right now these uh, beams are not quite parallel but they're essentially parallel and in my final design I'll probably tilt them like that that way when it picks up a ball the ball has a tendency to be squeezed towards the front of the claw and then when I drop the ball into the final pit, uh, final bin, it will be towards the front. That way I don't have to reach all the way over and risk knocking a bunch of balls off. So I'm not sure how the, I'll do that. Obviously I do need to still add some edges to uh, keep the ball from just uh, sliding out from the front of the back. But I do think that if I have a nice angle, it'll give the best of both worlds. It'll give sort of a uh, It'll give a lot of uh, leeway in terms of positioning when grabbing the ball, but still p a lot of precision when dropping the ball, because you can pick up the ball anywhere, but when it does grab it, it'll squeeze the ball to the front, and it'll then be able to accurately drop the ball into the bin. So that's my first attempt at a grasping mechanism, and I do think that it is uh, it has a lot of potential, and it... So the news line. Anyway. In the process of building and documenting this first attempt, it really got me thinking about what are my main goals for this grasping mechanism that I'm going to have on my robot. And I've decided that that's um, definitely, one, the ability to have a lot of precision in dropping the ball. Because when you drop the final ball on your pylon, you have to be very careful to avoid um, knocking the other balls off. And two, be able to have a lot of leeway in the positioning of the claw and still be able to pick up the ping pong ball. So I want to be able to be very unprecise and just get it in the general vicinity and quickly pick up the ping pong ball. Now I was able to talk about uh, how this claw could be made to work and achieve that using the angle and stuff. But I do think that I can do better than this and that is why I have come up with this and this is obviously just made of Legos, it's just a mock-up, but if I end up making this for real, just a sec, it will allow me to um, start out like this with the uh, claw very wide and just get it in the general area and pick up the ping pong ball, but then when I get to the pylon I can very precisely drop it. So starts out like this very wide it closes 
and then it releases nice and gently while pulling up which is as I've talked about before ideal so this uh, is able to accomplish all that within the about 90 degrees of rotation that my servo can provide me so approximately 90 degrees it's able to complete the full open close open cycle and I do think that if I uh, end up I am probably going to end up building this and I hope that it works out. I do have a piece of foam there to help just push this uh, claw out to open it on the uh, wide opening part of the cycle. So yeah, long story short, this is my most promising idea. I will try to make a mock-up of this and see how it works. The uh, idea of a fan I've pretty much scrapped partially because I don't have a speed controller so I'm sticking with servos and partly because I do not see how that's actually going to um, help me achieve the goals that I've set any more than a claw would. So, we'll see how this goes. Ta-da! I have finished the claw, and I followed the exact measurements of the Technic mock-up that I made, so it works perfectly. So, sick. The next step is going to be replacing these cardboard pieces with something that has a rim around it to hold the ball in and also has that angle so the ball slides forward. I'll probably make it a little bit longer too. And then once that's done, I'll work on the arm that will raise and lower this.